Hi, here I am with the video to show you how to tap for EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. You may find that I have added a few points of my own as I have been guided by my Cosmic Master Jade Fire. The technique of tapping involves removing the toxic waste of negative energies that lie blocked in our meridians. The points that we tap upon are important points that help us to tap the different meridians in order to remove the toxic waste. Now toxic waste could be the waste of things like fear, anger, old traumas, old emotional wounds. There's such an array of negative energies that we take in from time to time and we do not even know that we've taken it in. And after we take it in, we make very little effort to release it. And so it remains like tar in our meridians. Our meridians are energy channels. It's a network of energy channels that run all over our body and outside our bodies. When these energy channels begin to get blocked with this toxic waste, energy, prana, ki does not flow and has to make a lot of effort to flow through. Where it is unable to flow, very soon there is the beginning of a disease, an illness or an ailment. In order to prevent that entirely, if we do a few rounds of EFT on a regular basis, especially when we know that a certain word, a certain event, a certain person has triggered us, we will be able to clear the meridians immediately. Now, you will not know which meridian or meridians have taken in that toxic waste. And therefore it is not possible to only clear one meridian. And so we clear all our meridians and ensure that our meridians are energy channels where we get our nourishment of prana remain clean so that prana enters our system effortlessly constantly. The process of EFT has two aspects that are important. One is tapping and the other is the statement that we make while we are tapping. So I'll give you an example of statements and then you can frame your own statement. Don't be so worried about the statement being right or wrong. The intention behind that statement is carried into your meridians and your meridians recognize that. The second aspect is, of course, the tapping. You don't need to tap hard, but you don't need to tap very gently either. It has to be a, a light tapping that creates a kind of a soft Tap sound when you are tapping. If you find that certain points are difficult for you to tap, you can also rub those points and that's absolutely fine as well. Each point has to be tapped for about 30 seconds. You will take just a very few minutes 
to finish one round of tapping. I recommend that each time you do the EFT, you do a minimum of three rounds. If you have the time and of course the inclination, you can tap five times, seven times, nine times, entirely dependent upon you. I recommend that after the tapping is over, drink a glass of water because when the toxic waste is released, instead of it settling into organs, the water absorbs all that toxic waste and flushes it out. So why don't we start with the EFT points? You have to first acknowledge in your statement the negative feeling that you are experiencing or the negative thoughts that are going through your mind. If there are more feelings and more thoughts, then do one round for each feeling, one round for each thought. That way you can do multiple rounds. So for example, I could do one round, let us say, for anger. And I would say something like this, aloud. Even though I am angry at XYZ for having said this to me, I choose here and now to release myself from this anger and to restore myself to my divine state of love and peace. If there is fear, even though I am scared that such and such a thing might take place, I choose to, in the here and now, restore myself to my divine state of faith and confidence. Then it could be, let us say, a, a thought. Even though my thoughts are in the direction of hopelessness, I choose to in the here and now, restore myself to my divine state of optimism, positivity, hope and faith. If you are not well, you could choose a statement like this. Even though my physical body is suffering from this illness, I choose to repair, heal and restore my physical body, my emotional body, my mental body and my spiritual body to its divine state of 100% health and abundance. I advise you to write down your statement first. Make whatever changes you want to in your statement and come to a statement that resonates with you, that feels right for you. Remember, you start by acknowledging what is the negative thought or feeling that you are experiencing and you end by saying that you are choosing to return to your divine state. If you are using EFT to manifest something in your life, Jade Fire has taught me that you can do this as well. 
visualize very strongly what you wish to manifest. And then the statement will be a little bit different. You don't start with even though I whatever. This is how you will frame your statement. I choose to manifest in my reality in the here and now the joyful experience of, let us say, a loving, respectful, committed relationship. I choose to remove all energy obstacles that stand in the way of this joy. And then you can tap. Once you have your statement written, then use that statement for all the points. Don't keep changing the statement. That's very, very important. One entire round must make use of the same statement. For the second round, if there is another feeling or another thought that you wish to work upon, you can have a second statement and that entire second round can be with that second statement and so on with the third statement, fourth statement. If you want to maintain only one statement, then for all the three rounds, you can use that one statement. Now, which are the tapping points? We start with this point, the fleshy part that is just below the pinky finger. And you tap that. This point is called the karate point. You can tap that. Remember, a minimum of 30 seconds. When you're tapping the karate point, you do not need to say the statement. The karate point is like an awakener. It wakes up your meridians and tells them, hello, pay attention, something's coming. There's a message for you. Although EFT practitioners teach very often that it is not necessary to tap on both sides of the body, left and right. I prefer tapping left and right side because I find that this makes the EFT process more potent. If you are strapped for time, you can tap only one side of your body, but do try to tap both the sides. It really takes just about a minute or so more. So once you have tapped the two karate chop points for 30 seconds each, then you are ready to start the EFT process. After tapping the karate chop points, take about three to five deep breaths. Breathe deeply into your gut. This calms down the inner system. It calms down the physical body. And it brings you into a state of readiness to release. As you are breathing in, tune in to the feeling, to the thought that you desire to release or tune in to the reality that you wish to manifest. Once you have breathed in and out deeply, about five breaths, you are ready to begin the process by tapping the first point, which is the crown of your head. Remember to tap this point for 30 seconds and while you're tapping it for 30 seconds, speak aloud the statement that you have written. The next point is your third eye chakra. 
once again you tap the point for 30 seconds and say aloud the statement that you have written we now come to the eyebrow points just where your eyebrows begin i find it personally difficult to tap this point so i prefer to rub this point gently for 30 seconds saying aloud the statement that you have written we then move to the outside of the eyes just here the outside of the eyes tap that point gently be careful not to harm your eye in any manner 30 seconds saying aloud the statement that you have written we now come to the point that is under the eyes in line with your pupil and this soft fleshy part of the eyes be gentle as you tap ensure that you do not harm your eyes in any way 30 seconds and saying aloud the statement that you have written we now come to the point under the nose there's a little bit of a dent there and that's the point you tap with one finger again 30 seconds stating the affirmation that you have written for yourself and then you move to the chin point you will find that below your lower lip and just as your chin begins there is a dent here that's the point you again tap with one or two fingers 30 seconds and saying aloud the statement that you have written we now move to the shoulder blade points you have your shoulder blades here and where they end that's the point you can either rub I find it easier to rub that point or you can tap it 30 seconds saying aloud the statement that you have written then you move to the armpit point actually the point is below your armpit about three fingers below your armpit around here you can rub this point you can rub both the points together 30 seconds as you rub it you might feel these points are sore this is because these meridians almost always gather the toxic waste 30 seconds saying aloud the statement that you have written once you have finished this point you go to your heart chakra technically the heart chakra is not an EFT point but Jade Fire insists that we tap the heart chakra to end the entire EFT round so that it helps us to restore our emotional body to our divine state of oneness, kindness, compassion, empathy and joy. So you can tap or rub the heart chakra point. 30 seconds and saying aloud the statement that you have written. With this one round of EFT comes to an end. If you are doing the EFT for multiple feelings or multiple thoughts then 
the second round of EFT, we'll use another statement, as will the third round, the fourth round, however many rounds you wish to do. If, as said earlier, you wish to remain with only one statement, then the three rounds that you will do, three or more, will only focus upon that one statement. After you have completed your EFT points, sit in silence for a few seconds, breathing in and out, and repeat the Ho'oponopono statements. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Please remember, Ho'oponopono is a self-forgiveness, self-care, self-love, self-connection technique. So you are saying these four sentences to yourself. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Sometimes, when I recommend that the clients do Ho'oponopono as a very focused self technique, I ask them to use the four sentences as the EFT statement. So it would be, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And so on with all the points, remembering to tap each point for 30 seconds. I hope this video has helped you and I hope you will be able to use the EFT technique and the Ho'oponopono technique to free yourself from toxic waste, to get rid of negative emotions, feelings and thoughts that can keep you entrapped in a less than completely fulfilling life. You have taken birth in order to be a being of joy and abundance, in order to experience the fullness of your divine presence. And I hope and I pray that this video shall help you to that end. Big hug and all my love.